As we celebrate Black History Month, News 6 shines the spotlight on trailblazers who have gotten results in our community. And one of those pioneers is right here in our own newsroom. Hired back in 1970, T. Taylor became News 6's first black photojournalist. Tonight, more than 50 years later, he reflects on what he's learned with News 6's Jerry Askin. They get kind of used to it and... You know, when you don't feed them, they get mad, you know. You can find T. Taylor now on any given day trying to find ways to relax and enjoy his new free time. But uh, I just enjoy watching the animals come and eat, and uh, then that's for the squirrels and the ones over here for the birds. He's staying busy at home, soon to be a retiree. After a half a century breaking barriers, fighting segregation, and building a legacy as the first black photographer here at New 6. Because this... And that camera on my shoulder, very powerful. But I never did abuse it. I let it work for me. And it worked for him 50 years, in fact, spotlighting your stories, later being featured himself in its own commercial on News 6. With me being here, as long as I have, people know me in the community. He's been around and knows News 6 gets results. But behind those happy days, he said, were early stories of racism while simply doing his job in Central Florida. There are times I would go out, people would call you the N-word. When I would show up on a location, people would see me like, come over, what are you doing here? Well, I'm at Channel 6 now and I'm here to cover the story. You gotta leave. You would leave because she had no choice. T was hired back in 1970 at News 6 after he saw a TV ad recruiting minorities who served time in the military. After four years in the Air Force, T was a production tech first at News 6, then worked his way up to covering sports and news as a photographer. He traveled the world, covering the Orlando Magic for years, but also tearing down the walls of segregation. Like in the 70s, he said, when he and a white female reporter were not treated fairly at the University Club downtown. We too wasn't welcome to come through the front door, just the front door. But we made, we told them, either we cover it the way the rest of the media cover it, or you get no coverage at all. A way maker who over the years gained the respect of so many. Perhaps I wouldn't be where I am today without people like T. Taylor. Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings, he calls T among the best with a big personality. He was always a consummate professional, but a bit of a jokester as well. Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill. He is, I would say, the historian to a degree because he documented everything that happened in our community, not just the black community, but the city of Orlando. So what do you want to say to T? I just want to say thank you, T, for, for being that community servant. A community ambassador who broke barriers, and he's happy about it, but for now. Fix my, uh, my backyard up and, you know, who knows? When this pandemic leave us, uh, invite you all out for a little barbecue. All barbecue. Right. <laughs> And I hear T can make some great barbecue. Now, T. Taylor is truly an inspiration for so many of us here at News 6 and throughout Central Florida. He paved the way for me, in fact, being a black man to even work here at News 6. He said he never saw this day where he'd be interviewed by a black man despite all that he's encountered. As for what's next, T is officially retiring from News 6 soon and told me he plans now to spend time with his wife at home and son, staying busy around the house and as always, giving mm. back to his community. Oh, what a great story. Mm -hmm. And when you go somewhere on a shoot with T. Taylor, which we've been able to many <laughs> times, you're there with a celebrity. Yes, you okay. are. Everyone yes. knows T. Taylor. Mm -hmm. He's a mentor and so much for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Inspiration to us all. Yep. Thank Inspired you, Jerry. to tell that story.